I've got some blades to make. They're actually folding blades rather than cutting blades, but they do still need a knife edge on them. This is one I'd done earlier. And I'm doing them on our old beaver turret mill. When I've tried grinding thin stuff on a surface grinder, I've had a lot of trouble with heat build-up and buckling, so I don't have a wet grinding setup. So I thought I'd just try and do these on the mill, and particularly because they're, they're just folding blades rather than cutting blades. They don't have to have a super finish on them. Um, so, uh, I've got one more left to do, and they started out as three quarters of an inch wide by one thirty second of an inch thick, so 0.8 of a millimeter. And this one, first step has been to reduce the width to 18 millimeters from 19 or three quarters of an inch. So that's been done, and now I'm just going to machine the angle for the for the blade. I've got the head set back at 10 degrees and I'm clamping them directly onto the bed basically that goes it's going to be further along you can see where the clamps are but we're putting that there and then I'm using a flat bar a small flat bar to go over the top Oh, this is all metal coloured here. It's really hard to <laughs> distinguish what bits are what here. So yeah, that's going on top of the blade that I'm machining, and then the clamps are going over the top of this. I tried doing one without this bar, um, with just the clamps, and it only takes a little bit of flex between the clamps for the cutter to lift the metal up and dig in and before you know it you've ruined the piece so it needs to have the extra piece of metal on top to give the clamp some support and yeah it seems to work quite well so I'm setting this up just by measuring from the edge of the table to the edge of the piece or rather the edge of these packing pieces that I've got along the edge of the table these ones on this side to, to bring the, the clamps up so that they clamp on this end close to this side of the, the piece that we're clamping up. And I'm trying to get this to be 126 millimeters. I can just tweak that. And if it ends up being 126 point well, I was going to say 03, 04, or whatever, I've got to leave it at that. This is actually 126.09, so let's try that again. Okay, 126.07, I think that'll be alright. And I want this end to be the same, so that it's all parallel. Like it is almost there, straight off. Well, on 26.08, I'm going to call that OK. This is not super accurate. We can't do it super accurate on this machine, but I'm kind of surprised that we're doing OK with this. Just tighten these all down, check it again, twenty six oh five.
2605. Right, we're going pretty slow. Very slow, actually. The material is what I always used to call gauge plate. Ground flat stock, O2, um, so heat treatable. It's machinable and it's uh, as it comes. But uh, yeah, I'm going pretty slow. Nice and steady. And the position of the table and the height has been set from the previous one, so I didn't have to change anything there. Make sure we're not going to get any swarf underneath the clamping bar to put digs in the blade. And I'm just going to take the rough edge off of that. It's not very rough at all, but I'm just going to take the tiniest bit of burr that's left on there from the cut. And then I'll flip it over and I can measure it again from this side. clean And that is it. And we'll just run a file along that edge, just to well, and a, a bit of an angle, just to take the slight bit of uh, machining burr that's on there off. I'm kind of surprised that we managed to get such a nice knife edge on that, on this uh, worn out old turret mill. So, nearly done, put, got to put three holes in these and uh, that will be that job jobbed. <laughs>